If you run right by him, you can see when you slow down right there. Everything should finish towards that pipe. We're close to the goal, right? But it's all right. Really, that's your left and right. Make sure you say one more. Give a good one more call. What's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was weak. How you doing? Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to talk about two-man game. You might know what a two-man game is. Very, very uh, popular phrase in lacrosse right now. All right, so effectively what we're going to do is you have all these different sets in lacrosse. You operate out of a 1-4, 2-2-2, 3-1-2, right? All these different things, but ultimately lacrosse can, no matter what set you're in, be morphed into a 2-on-2 two -two matchup. So much like basketball, you want to utilize pick and rolls, uh, slip picks, seals off ball. There's ways to get really creative, right? And if you become very good at a 2-on-2 two or a two-man game, all right, you almost don't, you never, you no longer have to rely on beating your man. So for the longest time, I guess in field across, offense was initiated by a one-on-one -on -one dodge. Now with the advent of box lacrosse and introducing two-man games to field lacrosse, all right, there's ways to create separation and an advantageous opportunity for your offense by just working together, all right? So we've got two defenders out here, Kyle Hartzell, and Tucker Durkin, all right, both all pro players, both USA guys, obviously. Come on, Paul. Um, all right, but what we're effectively going to do, there's a couple of things we want to think about. Ball carrier right here. So JoJo, what he wants to do, all right, is almost hide from the vision of my defender, all right? So the first thing that people screw up on a lot, I think, in two-man, is this, come on out here, is if we're setting up like this, and a lot of times you start to drill like this, all right, so I need to have the wherewithal to have patience. All right, but if Kyle can see JoJo, all right, then Tucker doesn't necessarily have to talk him through and he can set himself up for an easy switch. Now JoJo goes behind Kyle, all right, now Kyle can't see him. He has to purely rely on Tucker telling him where the pick is going, all right? And people think, oh, well, he'll just say pick left or pick right. Well, creatively, a lot of times, JoJo may start to Kyle's left and then last second switch to his right. So it's a lot more difficult. So it's important offensively that the ball carrier has the patience to allow JoJo to go, all right? And then we have either predetermined where we're going or he may give me a nod with his hand or his, or his head. But ultimately, our first priority is to get the ball carrier's hands free, all right, and put the defense in a position where they just can't switch. They're gonna have to slide from the crease and we're gonna have an opportunity. Okay, so let's try that basic, basic set. I have it here. He's gonna swing behind Kyle. All right, and then I'm gonna go, okay? So, a couple things to think about. For me, for me, if I recognize that the pick is gonna go on Kyle's left shoulder, all right, I want to make him think that I'm going to his right. So I'm gonna have to set him up here and then I can hit the gas, all right, where I'm making the move, all right? hear about a lot of times in basketball rubbing the shoulder of your pick man to really close that gap, okay? There, there's some truth to that, all right? But I think more effectively, if I can bait Kyle in a direction where the pick is not and then go, I don't have to rub shoulders with JoJo, and JoJo and I have a little bit more room, all right, to pass and go towards the net. Okay, JoJo Marasco. <laughs> Talk about what JoJo's responsibilities are in this pick. Now, as he goes and he sets it, okay, he's gonna wanna open up and either attack the goal, all right, or fade away from the goal into open space, okay? Because the defense is either gonna, I'll pass it off to them, they're either gonna switch, they're either gonna maintain the matchup, or there's gonna be a level of confusion where we're gonna be able to sort of innovate. So as he comes and he sets this, one thing he wants to do is make sure he's stationary, but always open up towards me. All right, show him what the wrong direction open up is. If I'm coming and he does that and the ball comes there, it's tough for him to follow it, okay? So he wants to open up to me, all right? And he's gonna, if the net's there, he's gonna generally roll towards the net and hope that he gets some space, all right? If they happen to double team me, when I talk about finding space, just don't be hooked to picking and rolling towards the net. If I'm coming here and I get a double, he may just want to find open area that will allow me an easier time to get rid of it. 
because if he's in front of me and I have a double team, I'm going to get checked and put on my back and not have an opportunity to get him the ball. So you have to have the wherewithal to figure out what's easier for my teammate. It's like catching and throwing. We talked about one of these drills. Coach Petromala at Hopkins used to always say, I don't care if you threw a great pass right to your teammate's target. If he doesn't catch it, you guys both lose. Right? It's a team game. All right, so don't think, oh, I'm, I'm more talented than the next guy. I'm going to beam him right at his stick, and it's his fault if he misses it. It's a team component to catching and throwing, so you got to make sure you can understand who your teammate is. If he likes it right at his chest, if he likes it outside, okay, if he likes it soft, or if he likes a fast pass into a stick. All right, so there's so many different elements that you have to sort of understand as you get better and as you start going from middle school to high school, high school to college, college to pro. All right, you want to go ahead? Yeah, yeah. First yeah. off, a Guys, the biggest thing on defense, what is it? Communication. Communication, right? So me and Tucker here, we're on the team. On ball, right? Defenseman, I'm locked in. I'm on the ball. I'm being aggressive, right? I'm not worried about what's to my right, what's to my left. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting my teammate to tell me where the pick is, where it's coming from, and what I'm supposed to do, right? If he just says pick, 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 I don't know where that's at. If he says pick coming left, I can kind of take a peek to my left, see where JoJo is, and then it's his job to call switch or get through, all right? A couple ways that we'll go over get, getting through the pick, all right? Can the, from up top, can these guys score from all the way out here? I mean, in reality, they're probably a little closer, but up top above the goal, we want to get under or underneath the pick, all right? So when he's coming through this way, Tucker's talking to me, I'm on ball. If I, he's going to leave a little space here so I can get through this pick underneath. The reason I don't want to go over the top, if I can try to go over the top on Paul and JoJo, if he tries to set a good pick here, if I try going over the top here, I'm going to get picked off. We're going to get confused. And that's when they're going to go to the goal there. All right, so up top, just keep it simple. We're going to switch on that. So if I'm on ball here, all right, I'm on the ball. Tucker's going to be loud. I'm listening for Tucker. Pick on your left, on your left, switch, switch. We're just going to switch there. Open up and collapse on that. All right. Get through. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Next one, getting through, right? I'm just on the ball here. I'm going to listen for Tucker. Get through, get through, get through. Coming underneath the pick, allowing space here to uh, catch up with ball there. The last one. Double team, right? If JoJo kind of doesn't roll to the net and, and Tucker sees that, wants to call a double team, right? What we're going to do is I'm going to stay up trying to hit his back double. side here double. and front side so he can't really, <laughs> really pass that ball there. All right, so he tries to pull his stick back. <laughs> I can come down on the back side and Tucker can blast on his front side there. All right, so just the, the biggest thing there, guys, is communication. Uh, pick where it's coming from and what to do. One, two, three, four. Go over behind the camp. I'm hitting these yes. targets. Much better, bigger job. Okay, here we go. Sticking around for the game. Yeah. Hopefully all you guys. <laughs>